Hello friends. Welcome to my channel for Medicos. Today I am here with information on an rare interesting disease I cell disease also known as inclusion cell disease and mucolipidosis type 2. Before starting, I will request you to subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for more such videos. What is I cell disease and what is its etiology? I cell disease also known as inclusion cell disease and mucolipidosis type 2. It is a part of the lysosomal storage disease family. It is an autosomal recessive disorder caused by defective phosphotransferase. Etiopathophysiology Normally, phosphotransferase enzyme is present in the Golgi apparatus and it phosphorylates mannose residues to mannose 6-phosphate. By this it transfers phosphate to mannose residues on specific proteins. Mannose 6-phosphate serves as a marker for these proteins to be targeted to lysosomes within the cell. In lysosome, these proteins function as catabolic enzymes for the normal breakdown of substances, for example oligosaccharides, lipids, and glycosaminoglycans, in various tissues throughout the body. In eye cell disease, there is defective phosphotransferase enzyme which prevent conversion of mannose residues of specific proteins to mannose 6-phosphate. Hence, without this marker, the proteins are not directed towards lysosome and instead excreted outside the cell. Lysosomes cannot function without these proteins. As a result, oligosaccharides, lipids, and glycosaminoglycans cannot be degraded in lysosome resulting in buildup of oligosaccharides, lipids, and glycosaminoglycans occurs within lysosomes, resulting in the characteristic eye cells, or inclusion cells. These cells can be identified under the microscope. In addition, the defective lysosomal enzymes normally found only within lysosomes are instead found in high concentrations in the blood. Clinical Presentation Mucolipidosis type 2 is a particularly severe form of mucolipidosis that has a significant resemblance to another mucopolysaccharidosis called Hurler syndrome. Generally only laboratory testing can distinguish the two as the presentation is so similar. There are high plasma levels of lysosomal enzymes. Failure to thrive and developmental delays are obvious symptoms of this disorder. Some physical signs such as abnormal skeletal development, coarse facial features, and restricted joint movement, may be present at birth. Children with mucolipidosis type 2 usually have enlargement of certain organs, such as the liver or spleen and sometimes even the heart valves. Affected children often have stiff claw-shaped hands and fail to grow and develop in the first months of life. Delays in the development of their motor skills are usually more pronounced than delays in their cognitive skills. Children with mucolipidosis type 2 eventually develop a clouding on the cornea of their eyes and, because of their lack of growth, develop short trunk dwarfism. These young patients are often plagued by recurrent respiratory tract infections, including pneumonia, otitis media, and bronchitis. There is also an increased risk of carpal tunnel syndrome. Children with mucolipidosis type 2 generally die before their seventh year of life, often as a result of congestive heart failure or recurrent respiratory tract infections. Diagnosis Diagnostic measures can include the following. Before birth Abnormally low levels of UDP and acetylglucosamine 1-phosphodiesterase enzyme activity in amniotic fluid cells or chorionic villi. In infants. Elevated plasmolysosomal enzyme concentration. Decreased concentration of lysosomal enzymes in cultured fibroblasts. Presence of inclusion bodies and peripheral blood lymphocytes. Low levels of UDP and acetylglucosamine 1-phosphotransferase enzyme activity as measured in white blood cells. Treatment A cure does not exist for eye cell disease. Treatment is limited to controlling or reducing the symptoms that are associated with this disorder. 
nutritional supplements, particularly iron and vitamin B12, are often recommended for individuals with eye cell disease. Physical therapy to improve motor delays and speech therapy to improve language acquisition are treatment options. Surgery can remove the thin layer of corneal clouding to temporarily improve the complication. It is possible that bone marrow transplant may be helpful in delaying or correcting the neurological deterioration that occurs with eye cell disease. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.